It may not happen in six months. It may not happen in a year. It may not happen in two years. But at some point, my dream is going to become a reality. Every single day, we're not waiting for it to happen. We just don't have sight. Sight is for people who live in the present. We have vision. We're going to make it happen before it happens. You got to write even if no one published your book, write because that was given to you to do. Everything in you is telling you to stop, to give up. Every muscle is aching and you're saying to yourself, you can do it. Where you are is temporary. You will not be there for the rest of your life. All the people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. You were attacked. You were criticized. People were opposing you, but you kept on doing it. It was hard. It was rough. It was difficult. But to you, it was worth it. You have to know that this thing is going to work. Say this to yourself every day. I can write my own book. I can have my own business. I, I can take the trip and travel around the world. It's possible. I can bounce back from adversity and reinvent my life. It's possible. There's so many individuals out there that are so talented in different things that never accomplish anything. The world is filled with talented people and they never accomplish anything. The body has limitations, the mind does not. We focus so much on what goes on from the neck down that we forget it all starts from here. If you're not mentally ready you're never really physically prepared. Why most people never achieve their goals while two or three percent really achieve a high level of success. The people who took this one action every single day were the ones who achieved their goals and dreams more often than anybody else. Finding your passion is also one of the biggest questions. You just gotta try everything. You just gotta keep trying. Yeah, I mean that's the thing, is like you have to be motivated to at least try. I firmly believe that everybody on this planet has a gift. It's your job to figure out what that gift is. Then it becomes your job to decide whether you're going to act on that or not. There is nothing we cannot do. It's really a matter of setting a focus goal, because without a target, you'll miss it every time. Picking a target and then picking the steps along the way and realizing that the, all the resources, all the capital, all the expertise is there. But ultimately, it's only gonna be tapped if that target is in your heart and your soul. What changes our whole life is action. Why don't we take action, fear? What do we got to do to get ourselves to do it? We got to make sure that we push ourselves through it by making a decision. The point in which change happens is a decision. Every change in your life that you want will come from something simple, a decision. See, a real decision is not like a preference. It's not like where you say, I'll try it and see. That's not a decision. Decision comes from Latin. It means like incision to cut off from. Decision is when you cut off any possibility except the thing you've committed to. It's like, that is it. A decision is the first step. Decision is like a war. I gotta do this or that. All right, I'm gonna make myself do this. But commitment is when you now, after you've decided, you commit to do this for the long term. Whether it's hard or easy, doesn't matter. You're doing this. It takes it from this moment and it carries it in the future even when things are difficult. Decide, commit, and resolve. Don't wait until you're 25 or 35 or 45 years old. 
Start building that discipline right now to get what you want because there's 7 billion other people on this planet trying to get it, trying to get this thing called success. See, most people think success is a straight line. I'm going to get out of high school, I'm going to get a job, and everything's going to be fine. That's not how it plays out, folks, okay? This is how it plays out. Guy decides he wants something, and the line gets all squiggly. See, that's really what success looks like. Discipline means taking the hard road, the uphill road, to do what's right. Most people stop at failure. We've all failed at things. I'm going to continue to fail at stuff, right? It's the most powerful tool you can use, but it all depends on how you use it. And most people are just satisfied with ad. There's always a next level. Your definition of greatness and what you want to achieve could be totally different than somebody else's. You know, we always say, no one wants to be first, okay, because they're afraid of the consequences that come with doing something first. Can't be a failure. You're the first to do something. If you're the first to do something, you can't be listed as a failure. There's two types of people. People that are going to get what they want and the life they want, and people that don't. Two types of people, folks. People that get the life they want and everybody else. A lot of people out there that are constantly trying to improve themselves by looking for the one change. The one change, right? The one change in their life that's going to make their dreams come true. It isn't one thing. And it isn't 10 things, and it isn't 100 things. It isn't a quick path, and there are no shortcuts. Getting better isn't a hack or a trick or a one change that you need to make. Getting better is a campaign. It's a campaign. It's a daily, a weekly, it's an hourly fight an incessant fight that doesn't stop against weakness and against temptation and against laziness. It's a campaign of discipline. A campaign of hard work and dedication. It's waking up early and going to bed late and grinding out every second in between. Every single day. Just start doing it. Take that first step and make it happen. Get after it. Get after it.